Today we're talking about transfer switches. The transfer switch is really the brains of the operation when it comes to how a generator powers the house and how the whole system works and you actually get the power from here, from the generator, to the house. So this box here is a Generac 200 amp service engine traded transfer switch. So what this is doing is when the power comes in from outside, right? This panel actually gets the electricity and the power before the house panel does. So what this means is it can actually flip a switch, which I'll show you in a second, from the utility power to the generator power. So let me open this up and show you what this is. So down here you have a thumb screw. You just spin this guy off. Open the panel, just lifts off like so. Put it to the side a little bit, make sure it's nice and safe. Always put the thumb screw back in its spot so you don't lose that guy. All right, so this is the inside cover of the transfer switch. This breaker here is what makes it a service rated panel. Now what that means is basically you can hit this breaker and shut the power off to the house and now the house power doesn't have uh, any kind of power whatsoever. At the same time, this switch will also tell the generator to turn on because now it thinks, hey, the house powers out, the generator needs to come on so that the house can actually get that power. So this breaker in this panel is essentially the same as a main breaker in your panel, in your house, outside your house, in your basement, wherever your panel actually is. This breaker right here does pretty much the same thing. This breaker right here is special though because it'll tell the generator to turn on. So let's take a look inside this cover and we'll get a lot more information about how the rest of the system works. So open this guy up. There's a screw that you just spin down here. Right? So it can fit through this slot. Once you can fit through that slot, it lifts down and out, and now you can see all the wires that are inside the panel. Be careful with this though, because some of these are going to be electrically hot, have running electricity running through them, you don't actually want to touch them. Alright, so at the top here, kind of in the middle, we have three fuses. If one of these fuses pops, the generator will actually think that the power's out. So if your generator is running for some reason and you actually have house power, check these fuses because one of them might be bad. The brains of the operation, like I was mentioning before, is this little computer here, right? This is what tells the generator to actually transfer the power from the utility power to the generator power. All that happens with, between all the different wires and where they come in and how they land into the panel. Um, in order to actually make this all work, the main thing down here is this little yellow square. This little yellow square is what tells the generator to actually flip. When we flip the power, that little square is going to go to the bottom. Right now it's at the top spot. So this top spot um, is the utility power. When we flip this switch, What's going to happen is that's going to, after a minute or so, click down to the bottom. Now we're on generator power. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a transfer test, and you can see how this all works. Right now, the power's out because I just remember, like I said, killed the power to the house. You may hear the generator in the background. The generator has turned on. And now after uh, 30 seconds or so, whenever the generator actually warms up and is ready, boom, you hear that click? Now you might notice that the little yellow square is down on the bottom side. Now we're on generator power. This is what we're doing now is we're testing, we're simulating a power outage, right? So when we come do maintenance on a generator for your house, uh, it's a good idea to hit this breaker so that you can make sure it's actually going to work in a storm. Because every week or so, you might hear the generator turn on to say, Hey, I'm running, you know, I work, but the transfer switch isn't actually doing any testing, 
unless you hit this breaker. So this is always a good idea to do. Beyond that, if it's cold where you live, uh, once a month in the winter time, it's always a good idea to hit this to make the generator run on purpose to simulate that power outage for about an hour. The reason for that is the oil in the generator. Okay, that oil can get like milky oil condensation from water vapor that's in the air. That water vapor over time will actually cause the engine to wear and tear a lot fast. So you want to make sure that you get rid of those water vapors. You really shouldn't see that in the summer unless there's something else going on with the engine. So this is a good thing to do in the winter time, once an hour, once a month, and let it power the house, right? So when we flip it back to the house, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move this back to the top spot. The generator is still going to continue to run. The engine needs to cool down for about a minute or so before the generator actually shuts off. But before that, we'll see the little yellow square click back up and actually power the house again. So we're just gonna hit this real quick. And after a minute or so, maybe even a little less, this is gonna automatically pop back up and start powering the house, right? Kind of makes a loud noise, so it could be startling. You saw the lights flicker real fast, that's normal. That's always gonna happen. That's just it taking a heck second split to actually get back up to the top and power the house. Now, you can do all of this without actually removing this panel. I just wanted to make sure you saw how the thing actually worked because it's very difficult to see the generators uh, switching through this little slot, right? So this is how you're going to actually be able to tell if the generator is in utility power or generator power. It's simply by looking at this sticker, top and bottom, top and bottom, right? Top is utility, bottom is generator, just like we talked about how at the top position we got the generator and at the bottom position that's backwards. How the top position we got utility and at the bottom position we got the generator. So I'm just going to pop this back on here. Tighten this guy back down. Right? So all I had to really do is just flip this switch up and down in order to test the generator for the transfer switch. Um, like I said, it just made it easier for us to actually go ahead and show you what was happening inside the unit, inside the pan. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, this box here tells the generator to actually turn off and on simply by simulating power outage with this switch going off and on just like that. Um, let's go take a look at the generator itself so we can actually see how close it was. This is a metal garage, so the uh, sound is going to reverberate. So some people think the generators are very loud, okay? We're in a metal enclosure, right? And so it actually sounds way louder in here than it normally is. And it wasn't even that loud. So let's go take a look at where the generator is, how close it is, and what it all looks like. This generator is in a very nice location. Most generators don't have the luxury of being underneath a lean-to like this. This generator is in a perfect location. It's got airflow, it's got protection from extra elements, it's in a very nice location. So this is generally what a generator looks like. This is a 16 kilowatt gener generator model. In order to open this guy up, we just flip the, the lid open just like this. This cover just lifts out and up. At the bottom there, it's got two pins, one on each side. Those pins hold the door into the unit itself. And on the side, these guys latch in to hold it all together. I'm just going to set this aside right now so that you can take a look at what the inside of a generator actually looks like. Okay, so 
So protect your friends, family, and pets from the cold, the snowy, freezing winters. These guys all super appreciate having a generator that they can have nice and warm nights, cuddle up with you in the bed. Get a Generac generator, your family, your friends, and your pets will all appreciate it. In other videos, we're gonna actually show you the insides, the internal workings, how to actually go through this, how to do some different repairs, how to change a battery, different things like that. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to make sure that you get all the content in relation to a Generac generator to make sure you're optimally running and your family, friends, and pets are